Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you some of my best ever thrift store finds. So over the past few years I found some pretty cool stuff when I was shopping at thrift stores, so I thought I would show you guys like the best things that I've ever found, and I really had to narrow it down otherwise this video would have been way too long, so I just tried to find like my absolute favorite things that I found at thrift stores. So let's just get right into it. So. The very first thing I'm going to talk about is some shirts that I found. The first shirt I'm going to show you guys is a band shirt, and I just absolutely love finding band shirts at the thrift store. Um, so it is this Dropkick and Murphy shirt. It has this awesome ship on it, and on the back it says shipping up to Boston. This shirt is a men's size small, and I always check the men's section at the thrift store to see if they have any band shirts. The next shirt that I have to show you guys is this um, kind of crocheted shirt from H&M. I just absolutely love it. It looks like an old lady shirt, but <laughs> it just looks really cool. So I wasn't sure if I should include the next two shirts in this video because technically I found them at a consignment store. It's a consignment store in Toronto. It's called The Kind Exchange, so it's similar to like a Buffalo Exchange or like a Plato's Closet, so um, I just thought I'd include these in here. So they're actually two shirts from the brand Unif, so I was totally excited to find these. So this is the first one. I'll just let you guys read that. I just absolutely love their shirts. Like, they come like all distressed and they're just super comfy and really soft. And the next Unif shirt I have to show you guys is this one. This is a size small, but it's like super oversized and it's like really comfy. I love it. So besides those two shirts, pretty much everything else came from Value Village. And I believe if you live in the States, um, it's the equivalent of Savers. I believe they're the same company. So the next thing I have to show you guys is a sweater. So it is this one. It's just a really nice uh, knitted sweater um, by the brand TNA and it's just super nice and warm, like it's made out of wool, and it is just so nice. I love to wear this in the winter. I can't really remember how much I paid for anything, um, but I think the sweater was around $10. The next thing I have to show you guys is a skirt, and this skirt is so sweet. Um, it is this like vintage 90s skirt from Le Chateau. It's basically just like a circle skirt or like a skater skirt, and then it has like a zipper at the back, and then a little button. Um, this is what the tag inside looks like. I was so excited when I found this, I just thought it was so cute. And my absolute favorite vintage piece that I found at the thrift store is this dress. I just absolutely love the flower pattern on it um, with like these sunflowers and then it has like little polka dots on it. And then it just has these really cute like pearl buttons. And the length of the dress, it probably goes like to about my knees. Um, and then it has like this tie up thing that would go around the back. It is like a tiny bit big, but then once I tie it up, it's totally perfect. So another vintage dress that I found um, is this black one, and it has like this kind of flower pattern, also in black. It's just like kind of a short dress, um, and then it has these buttons all the way up the back. I actually found this at a store in Hamilton, I can't remember what the store was called. Um, and this is what the tag looks like, it just says A-list. So I don't know how old this dress is, but it's just really cute. And I love like the neckline at the front, and then it's like a little bit lower in the back. And the last dress I have to show you guys is this little dress. Um, it's by the brand Divided from H&M, and it just like has a little floral pattern on it in black and white, and then it just has buttons up the front. It is like a shorter dress. I think whoever had this dress before actually cut the bottom because there are all these like little strings hanging off of it and it's kind of uneven, but I think that makes it look really cool. So the next thing I have to show you guys is a pair of shoes. So it's these guys. So these are also like vintage. I think they're from like the 80s or 90s. Um, it's by the brand Naturalizer. Um, I guess they're kind of like sandals, like they're kind of open. I just love like the different colors. But I don't think I paid a whole lot for these, like definitely under $10, so that's pretty sweet. And they're also super comfortable to wear, so that's a definite plus. So every time I go to the thrift store, I always stock like their decor section because sometimes you can find some really cool like framed pictures and stuff like that. So the first picture I have to show you guys is this one. So it's just like a picture of like some keyboard keys. I just thought it looked really cool. Okay, and this is the next one I wanted to show you guys. 
I just thought it was like so random with like the two cats. I probably should have like cleaned these off before I show you guys. They're kind of like gross. I hope you guys can see that okay. It's like very glare-y. So the last one I have to show you guys is this huge one. Um, so it's just like of this ship. I just thought it was really cool. I don't know where I'm gonna put this one yet. Maybe I'll like stick it in my bathroom or something. Okay, so the last two things I have to show you guys are from like the housewares section of my thrift store. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is like this little cupcake. Actually, the sticker is still on there. It says trinket box, but I was thinking of using it for like to put sugar in or something like that. It has like a strawberry on the top and this is what it looks like inside. So cute. And this is the very last thing I wanted to show you guys. It's this little Care Bears glass and it has Cheer Bear on it. I just thought it was so cute. It has like a rainbow and like little hearts on it. So those were all of my best ever thrift store finds. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I probably could have included a lot more things but then the video would have been really long, so I don't want to put you guys through that. I'm hoping I'll have more thrift hauls for you guys in the future. I do have one that I filmed a few months ago. You should check it out. I'll put the link to that one below. Sometimes I just feel like I don't have a whole lot of luck, like maybe I'll find one thing, but then other times I'll find a whole bunch of things, so hopefully I'll have some luck and I can make some more thrift hauls to show you guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video.